So we have our design here, and now we're going to create this, transform this into a ModX template. First of all, we're going to need some HTML, CSS, of course. So let's start with that right now. Um, let's just open our folder with my template. So in my site, assets templates, my templates, and we already have a file called home main page, and there's actually almost nothing in here. We have our header file and our content file. Okay. Um, this header file is simply a file here, header. So let's open that one as well and put that before the main page. And the footer file is the same thing, it's below it. So now actually we have all the files. Just to make it easy to work, I'm just gonna create a new one and copy all of the content, the header first, and then the main page content, copy. here and then the footer content. Let's put that in here and I'm going to save this to the desktop as home page html. Not just home page actually, that's fine. Dot html. Okay, so now we can work with this for now. Uh, let's also edit the style CSS. Let's open that one. We're going to need it. Um, so that's it for now, this part. Um, if we open the file, the homepage file, let's actually, sorry, <laughs> copy the homepage file from the template here to from your desktop to this file so it, it, is, it, it is in the correct folder. Because if you open it, you will see here the CSS. Okay. Um, as you can see, the CSS file is not called, so let's change that first. Um, let's open the, the file in the folder, homepage, HTML, and the CSS. That's all we need for now. We can close these three. So we just have a homepage with all the content and a CSS file. Alright, um, this CSS file is called by this line. Let's just remove that for now. Uh, like this, just style CSS. And then it should work. Yeah, the page title has turned red. Okay, so we have our design here. Um, if I add my borders and my info, you can see that the whole width of the page is 960 pixels. So let's start with that. Let's we already have a container, a div with the idea of container. So copy the idea and add a div with the idea of container. Let's give it a width of 960 pixels and a margin of 0 pixels, auto, 0 pixels, auto. What this does is it gives it on top 0 pixels, to the right side it automatically decides the margin, on the bottom it gives it 0 pixels, and on the left side it gives it automatic margin. So if you have, if you have two autos, that means that the, the div will automatic be, automatically be, be placed in the center. Let's save and refresh the page, and as you can see it's all in the center. That's step one. Okay, as you can see here, we also have a little padding here. Um, so this is the width of the, f the, the div, but there's padding here. So this is 20 pixels. So let's add 20 pixels of padding on both sides. 0 pixels, 20 pixels, 0 pixels, 20 pixels. But if we add 20 pixels on both sides, then we need to uh, remove 40 pixels of the total width. So that it the total stays 960. Let's do it like that and you will see it. Okay, uh, in our design, oops, uh, the main page area has a different color black background. So let's try that. Let's copy this color. It's F1, F1, F1. And let's just say um, page background that color. Yeah, easy. And let's give the container a background, a normal white background. Like that. If we refresh. Oh, actually, I said page, but I mean body, of course. Uh, excuse me. Body. As you can see, the body has a nice color now, and the rest is white. Okay. Uh, the next thing we'll need. Uh, there's some margin on top, as you can see. I don't know why. Let me check. Uh, 
for some reason the head has a margin let's give the body uh, a margin zero pixels on all sides let's see what that does I don't see why this margin is here, one second okay I can see here um, <laughs> our H1 has a really high uh, a margin, margin top, so let's change that let's get our H1 and let's do margin 0 pixels for now okay so now everything is nice to the top okay let's create our uh, our header with a nice blue black background here um, I'm going to select this image just create a really thin slice of this background crop the image and save it as a JPEG I'll do maximum quality because it's really small anyway uh, let me go to the correct uh, correct sub folder assets, templates, my templates and the folder images no, let's see, let's go to the desktop of course, my site assets, templates, my templates, images and I'm going to create a folder called site so inside the images folder, create a folder called site, and I'm going to call this uh, header background. Like that. Oh, header. Okay. So now we have a thin slice there. Um, let's uh, add that to the CSS. So let's add a header. And we already have a header, an ID of header, so let's do that. Body inside the container, so do header and do background URL uh, images site header.jpg and repeat next Let's try that for now. Let's see what happens. As you can see, that it has a background, but the height is too low, of course. So let's see how much height this is. Um, if we open our lines. The header um, it has a height of uh, 176 pixels. So let's give it a height: 176 pixels. So let's see about that. Um, I see I made a mistake already um, this margin shouldn't be here inside the header and that margin is caused by the container um, so let's not add the padding to the container but let's add it to the individual divs inside the container so I'm going to remove this, this 20 here and add, make this 60 again and instead I'm going to give the header a padding Now it should work fine. Okay, um, we have an image here, but what if this header becomes even larger? Then I still want it to look nice. Now, what's a good way to do that is to get the color of the bottom part, so this one, the blue, get that color and just add it before the URL of the background. That way, the, um, if, let me show you if, let's say, if I make this 500 high, five, 500 and I refresh, it will keep the color here, so you have a gradient and then it will add the color here as you can see it also added this line, uh, so that's quite good um, that's apparently <laughs> inside the picture, uh, we already created that line of course uh, if, if I close it here, that's this line here, so that looks good okay, let's uh, keep get the height to a normal level again like that maybe give it a little bit more height uh, 76, 78 180 pixels, that's better because then I see this really nice line here so 100, it's more logical number anyway, 120 so, that's our header um, as we can see in our design uh, the color of the text is white so let's do that, let's give the header uh, text the color white, so go to our CSS file and let's do here color white 
and the H1 should be white as well. So let's do a header. I'm going to copy this. Remove all of this. And do H1. And I will also add header H1A because sometimes I will make it a link and it should be white as well. So now it's white. That's good. Um, this will create a, a navigation. We will style that later once it's in the modic system. 